Let's talk about rock wool, probably my favorite hydroponic growing medium of all time. Commercial growers love this stuff too, which kind of tells you a lot. Okay, so you've probably already seen that Rockwell products come in various shapes and sizes. I'll start with these Grodan AOK starter plugs because they're perfect for getting seeds going or for rooting your cuttings. Preparation is easy. Soak the cubes in pH 5.5 water for 15 to 30 seconds. Sometimes I add a tiny bit of nutrient to my pre-soak solution too. No more than one mil of each part per gallon. Very light, but other growers tell me they don't bother because the seed itself contains the initial food for the sprout. Shake the plugs to get rid of any excess moisture. Don't squeeze them or you'll damage its fine internal structure and push out all those wonderful microscopic air pockets that plant roots love so much. If you're using the Grow Smart tray, you can place the plugs into the tray and allow the water to leach off. That water adds to the humidity inside your dome. Sow your seeds, one or two per plug, in the little hole just a seed's depth down and tuck over some fibers so they're surrounded by moisture. This Grow Smart tray fits neatly in my propagator and raises the plugs up a little to aid healthy root development. Close the vents in the propagator lid and place under a T5 fluorescent grow light. You don't need much light for seedlings. Temperatures should be around between 75 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit for crops like cucumbers, tomatoes, and peppers. Lettuce and cool season crops prefer 60 to 65. If temperatures are too hot, raise your light up. Too cold? Try a heat mat. Just be sure to monitor it, especially at the beginning. The next step's really easy. Just wait. Seriously, don't even think about watering or remoistening for at least five or six days. Just let those little seeds do their thing until they pop. I open up the propagator each day just to freshen it up a little. If any cubes appear dry, give them a mist or another quick dip. Once roots are established, you definitely need to reach for the hydroponic nutrients. Just take it easy with your babies, okay? Crops like lettuce barely need anything. Try an EC of 0.5. That's around 250 parts per million. Peppers are light feeders too. Stay under EC 1.0 or 500 parts per million. You should harden your seedings and cuttings up gradually. By that, I mean you need to slowly wean them off their high humidity environment inside the propagator to the real world of your grow room. Once your seedlings have hatched, open your propagator vents. Over the next few days, try sitting the lid loosely on the tray or even propping it up a little. Then remove it altogether for increasing periods until eventually your plants are happy without it. If you see your little seedlings starting to stretch or lean towards the light, it's time to increase light intensity. Commercial growers always make a more dilute, low-strength nutrient solution of bright, sunny days. You should take a note out of their book when moving your plants onto stronger light sources such as metal halide or LEP plasma. Raise the lights up an extra foot or two and err on the side of caution with nutrient strength. Your plants will thank you for taking it easy on them during their transition. Okay. On to transplanting. If you take good care of your babies, you might be surprised at how long they can stay in their starter plugs and remain reasonably happy. Just take a look at these cucumber seedlings, healthy and vigorous, but screaming out to be transplanted. Don't worry, little guys, your upgrade awaits. So, as for the next size up, you can choose 3 or 4 inch delta blocks or even the 6 inch Hugo. Smaller blocks are more space efficient, but I find larger blocks are more forgiving with less need for maintenance. Like the AOK plugs, you'll need to pre-soak in pH 5.5 water just before use. Just leave them a little longer. 5 minutes is fine for the 3 and 4 inch deltas and 15 minutes for the 6 inch Hugo. Don't remove the wrapping. This helps to preserve moisture and direct the roots down to the bottom of the block. Once you're done pre-soaking, pour away the water and make up a fresh nutrient solution. Some growers combine these steps by simply pre-soaking in pH-adjusted nutrient solution, but pre-soaking in pH-adjusted water first removes the alkaline lime more effectively, resulting in a more stable pH as you grow. Make the nutrient solution the same strength as your plants are already accustomed to. Once again, I don't recommend going over EC 1.0 or 500 parts per million at this stage for minimal transplant shock. Soak your cubes again for 5 minutes, give them a shake, and they're ready to receive. Transplanting is so easy with Rockwell. You just stick the AOK -okay plug in the hole. Et voila, you're done. Don't worry if your block has a circular or square hole. The roots actually enjoy a few air pockets, so just put the plug gently in there, watching to get all the roots in too. After transplanting, don't rewater for at least three days to encourage roots to grow into their new accommodation. Rockwool is great for holding both air and water at the same time, but overly wet conditions inhibit new root growth. Wait for the blocks to feel significantly lighter, but not completely dry before irrigating again. Okay, what comes after that? Well, that's really up to you. The 3-inch blocks can be transplanted neatly onto these awesome unislabs, also by Grodan. They're just like Rockwell slabs, but smaller and a lot more portable. I also find that they have more stability than the larger blocks. You simply make four diagonal drainage slits, cut an X for the block, 
pre-soak in the same way as the blocks, I recommend half an hour for these puppies, drain, then water through a gallon or so of nutrient solution, and the block just sits on top like this. Pretty neat, huh? If you've got lofty growing ambitions, you can always go for the Big Mama. She's a massive 8-inch block that can pretty much grow any size plant you like so long as you irrigate properly. I recommend top feeding the larger blocks with drippers, something I'll show you in a future video, I promise. The Big Mama doesn't come with a transplant hole. You simply sit the smaller sized block on top of her. If you prefer the familiarity of growing in pots, then these Grodan cubes are another great option. You treat them in a similar way to the starter cubes and fill up your pots as you would with any other loose fill growing media. I love these grow cubes as you can get away with a lot smaller pot sizes compared with growing in soil and still grow big healthy plants taking up less floor space. By the way, there's nothing to stop you propagating in Rockwell cubes and then transplanting into soil or coco coir. Just be sure that whatever medium you're using is well moistened, otherwise it can wick the moisture out of the cube. Note that soil and cocoa can dry out more in between irrigations than Rockwell, so you need to take extra care at the beginning that moisture isn't wicked away from your fresh transplant's root zone. Some growers transplant to 3-inch blocks and then move their plants into soil or cocoa coir to mitigate the risk of moisture wicking. Note that you can flip the Grow Smart trays over to accommodate the larger blocks, a really nice touch from Grodan. This helps to contain the roots within the block itself rather than them running into the bottom of the tray, a technique known as air pruning. Finally, if you're wondering what those little squares of white plastic are, they're to prevent light reaching the top of the blocks. It helps to keep algae growth to a minimum. Algae isn't damaging to plants, but it can potentially provide a home to fungus gnats. You can buy specialist protective covers called Coco Caps too, but this isn't a bad DIY version. Okay, that'll do for now. Hopefully you're enjoying looking at these plants as much as I am. Let me know your questions and comments below, and please don't forget to subscribe for regular updates on my grow, including how to set up automatic irrigation systems for Rockwell. This is Everest, out.